Hi there. If you're interested in data science, machine learning, AI, generative AI, Python development, finding a job and everything, you are in the right channel. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get going with number 10 from CodeSignal. A lot of companies are using CodeSignal to hire you and me, so let's get this one going. Here I am. I've got my CodeSignal platform on the left side. I've got a Jupyter Lab on the right hand side. I'll move the windows around for you to be able to see, but now let's look at common character count. The task here is given two strings. So you will be provided with two strings like AABCC and ADCAA. Your job is to find the number of common characters between them. So as an example, you've got two A's here that are here, or even this one doesn't really matter. So you have two A's that is common and you have one C that is common. You don't have two C's here and two C's here. You only have one C here, two C's here. So you've got one C and you've got three A's here and two A here. So you only got two A's. So the answer for this one will be three. Let me run you through how I think about this problem. I think I will run a for loop onto this string and capture how many different characters we have and how many of each we have. So we have two A's, one B, and two C's. I will do the same here, three A's, one D, and one C, and then I will mix and match how many of each is there to find a common number of them. So let's do what exactly I said. Let me make my Jupyter Lab a bit bigger for you to be able to see. I will first copy the S1 and S2, copy those ones from here so that I have the example here, get rid of that one. And I've got S1 and S2, that's easy. Then I will make a container to count the number of letters in S1 and another one for S2. So let's call this one counter number one equals it's a dictionary. I'm just going to use a dictionary and counter number two is also a dictionary. So I make empty balls, if you like, for me to be able to input data in it. Let me just keep it in a separate cell. I will write a for loop that goes over S1. So go over S1 and print the letters. You will see that, oops, it is not letters, it is letter. You will see that there is A, A, B, C, C. That's good. Now, if you haven't seen my video on dictionaries and the get function, the link is up the top right. But for now, let me show you what I will do. For counter number one, I will make a key in this dictionary for that letter, for example, for A, for B, for C, for whatever. And I will use the same dictionary, which is called counter number one, and the get method onto that dictionary, which will help me find any letter inside that dictionary. And if it cannot find it, it will assign number zero to it. But every time you find one, you need to add one to it. So first time there is no A, so it's zero. But the next time A will be one because you added one to it. Second time will be one plus one. So every time you will keep adding one to it. So you find the letter and then add one to it. So let me quickly show you what counter one will look like. It will go through, find that there are two instances of A, one instance of B and two instances of C. I will do exactly that for counter number two. Let's just make it number two and that one number two in going through S2, we're not looking at S1 now. And if I show you counter number two, you'll see that there are three times A, one time D and one time C. So this was pretty easy so far. Now, all I need to do now, find the common characters. So let's make a new variable called common count. Let's imagine there are only zero letters that are the same on both sides. It's not correct, but we start with zero. Once we set it to zero, we need to check both sides, so counter one and counter two, and find how many of each do we have common. And that's very important, which means that I will need to write another for loop for letter in count counter number one. You can see that I can actually print that letter. It will print the keys, not the values. If you haven't seen my video on dictionaries, link is up the top right. It will find the keys in counter number one. So I can write a statement, a conditional statement that says, if the letter that you found in counter one exists in counter number two, if you already find it there, this is pretty important now. 
I want you to find how many there are here, how many there are there, and find the minimum value. Because, for example, in this case, there are two A's here and there are three A's here. How many of them is common? Only two of them. Because three is the bigger value. One of them has three, the other one has only two. So three is not going to be the answer. It will be two. So all I need to do now after I find the letter that is in both counters, I will have to find the minimum of counter one for that letter and counter two for that letter. Once I find the minimum, I need to write into the common count. So common count equals plus. If you don't understand what this means, the link is up the top right. And then finally, all I need to do is to print common count. You will see that the answer is three. That's exactly what the platform was expecting. So I have hacked this one pretty easily. If you liked this one, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, put your questions in the comments area. I'm happy to help you. But let me put together a function that can go into code signal. So all I need to do here is let me put it together from the top to bottom. I need these ingredients, put them down here. I need these ones down here. I need another one for the second string down here. And finally, I need this bit down here. Select all of them, move them one step forward, make a new line there, define a solution function with S1 and S2 coming from the user. So if you haven't seen my video on making functions in Python, the link is up the top right. And you go down and you return common count. Just fix that one. Now, I should be able to run this in my own Jupyter lab. So if I go solution between S1 and S2, it should return three to me. So that's correct. Copy all of that. And let's make this one bigger a bit, that one bigger, and paste it here. Run the tests. And ta-da! Five out of five worked. Let's move my face to the other side, submit it, and I will say ta-da again if it is correct. And ta-da! That was correct. So thank you for watching. Put your questions in the comments area. Subscribe to my channel and hope to see you again soon.